friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. I wanted to cover some updates and also to give you a little more information about our channel and how it works, especially if you're newer and some things about our videos and the time frame that they're shot might be a little bit confusing. So I wanted to explain that and why we're set up that way and answer a few other questions in relation to our channel that uh, some people have had. So one of the first things I wanna say is that um, a lot of you know that we have a new grandbaby. He, at the time that I'm shooting this video, he's almost five months old. So by the time you're seeing this video, he's gonna be about six months old. So I'll get to that in a minute. And anyway, some of my videos I've been putting out where I've been showing baby items, like the, the baby toys and the baby set and the baby wipes, and people were hoping to see pictures of our grandbaby. And, Though I would love to share pictures of my grandbaby because of course he's my grandbaby and I think he's the cutest baby in the whole entire world. For the sake of his privacy, his parents' privacy and all that, I'm just being respectful and also because YouTube is very funny about the whole kids and videos things and things like that can also get your channel demonetized. But the number one reason I'm doing it is out of respect for my son, his wife and Jackson. If you're trying to contact me, you really need, the best way to do it is not through MeWe, not through any other social media. If you're wanting to talk to me privately, is through our email address, which is always in the description box down below. And you can see it right here. It's simply Rain Country Homestead, all one word, at gmail.com. Though I do see most comments here on YouTube, there's always those that slip by, especially if they're made as a reply under somebody else's comment. I rarely get notifications on those so I might miss those <laughs> it's very unlikely I'll see those at all they have to be a direct comment right under a video I'm most likely to see and then speaking of that that's another thing I want to approach is that whenever you make a comment whether it be a comment or a reply comment under somebody else's comment and you include any kind of link in there whether it be a youtube channel a youtube video a link to a website it doesn't matter any kind of link automatically goes in held for review i have it set up that way for a reason so that i can manually when i remember and sometimes it can be hours before i get to it or a day if you're if that goes into help for review i have to go in there and review it before i can approve it and the reason i have it set up that way is more for everybody's safety because sometimes i get spam sometimes i get links to very very inappropriate sites and i can tell by the way they look i've never clicked on them because i always can tell right away and i don't want anybody especially if it's a, a young child seeing something and oh and clicking on it and it taking them somewhere very inappropriate so that is why i have it set up that way so if you post a comment with a link in it and it disappears you can't find it that's the only reason why or even if you didn't put a link but you had that common typo where you didn't put a space after you ended a sentence and put a period youtube sees that as a link because they'll see something something dot something and that just automatically registers as a link to YouTube and bam, it goes into held for review. So sometimes that happens too. And just give it time if you don't see your comment show up, especially if it's something you know you put a link in, just give me time to get to it, to approve it. Moving on to a few other things. Let's see, the vid video scheduling. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to do this because this is the thing I know really is gonna confuse people. Years ago, when we were still early in our YouTube channel, YouTube was going through some changes and every time they make some kind of changes to make it safer for everyone, they release all these little bots. And these bots are always in a beta form and they always make mistakes. And what was happening is a lot of people's videos, almost every single video people put up was automatically being demonetized for no good reason. So because of that, I started putting my uploading my videos about a week ahead of time you know and getting myself ahead because usually it would like do that right away it would flag it for 
demonetization and that often would within 24 hours then that often gave me time where I could put in for a review a manual review of the video before the video published so that by the time the video published it was all taken care of and the video was monetized as it should be because as I knew there was nothing wrong with it so after doing that for a little while I was like wow I really like this I like this idea of being ahead and so I start, I kept working on getting myself farther and farther ahead until I became regular at having my videos three weeks ahead sometimes like right now I'm about a month ahead right now at the time that I'm shooting this video which is amazing when my mom passed away a couple of years ago having those videos that little bank of videos all ready to publish just made my life so much easier during that time and I realized that having a bank of videos is like ha any other kind of preparedness you got a bank of food you got a bank of water you got a bank of fuel you got a bank of money your own bank not the uh, other banks the so-called insured banks it just has me ready for whatever life throws my way so if something major happens and I just don't have time because I have to focus on the needs of my family and I don't have time to shoot and edit videos I know that I'm set a ways out the problem with that though is that when people see my videos because most of the videos including the one you're watching right now that you're seeing are gonna be a minimum of three weeks old from the time they're shot into the time that they actually publish a lot of Pat's videos could be months old by the time I get around to getting his edited and uploaded because usually a lot of his videos take much longer sometimes two to three days just to edit one of his videos and I have videos of my own that sometimes take me a couple days shooting videos and trying to edit them and trying to get the good lighting and the good sound and cut out all the ums and uhs that kind of stretch the video out or the places where you pause because you had a complete brain cramp and couldn't remember what to, you were gonna say or you're adding in photos and video clips and trying to make an overall nice experience for the viewer it is very time consuming it is a full-time job so anyway by being ahead this just gives me peace of mind if i so i don't get stressed out when when i have one of those days where things are just way busier than i expected or something came up like my son calls me and says hey mom can i come over and get a haircut and then patrick says oh i need my haircut too and i had plans to do video shooting and editing instead of cutting hair that day that just kind of makes it so much more easy and I don't have to get so stressed out about it. So anyway, one thing I do do though when it comes to time framing is anything related to garden updates. Those and now most of my this and that videos, not all of them, but most of them I do try to get up within a two to three day time period from the time they're shot to the time that they actually publish because i i believe those are important to try to keep on track especially for those people who are living in our general area or areas like ours where we're in northern climate and we're very 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 wet and pacific northwest a lot of pe people think the whole pacific northwest is wet no it's not Ours is one of the most wet areas in the Pacific Northwest. 120 inches average rainfall is what we get. And that is a lot. If you're not sure what that means, check out your own rainfall for your area. Just simply type in average annual rainfall for and put your city and state and you'll find out that way you can do a comparison of the amount of rain people that live in our area and they're following our videos for the gardening ideas they need to be able to stay updated and have that be you know the time frame to be correct so they know when to plant something or when i'm planting something so that gives them a better idea rather than pushing it out a whole month because wow when you're gardening that's a huge huge difference and then one more topic i wanted to cover i'm going to talk about a few things in this and that is in relation to amazon links and i think some of you know where i'm going to go with this so especially because a lot of the things that have been happening more recently in regards to amazon we've had a lot of people coming in being very judgmental some are n are nice about it some are incredibly rude some people are you know basically telling us that we're serving the devil because i 
supply Amazon links. Well, here's what you need to understand first of all. For us, just like most every other channel, Amazon is one of those ways by being an affiliate that small business owners like us here in the United States or those in the UK or wherever they are, are able to earn a little side income from the hard work that we put into our videos, especially when you're first starting out in YouTube. It can take a long, long time and a lot of hard work. So in the beginning, especially the way YouTube has it now, you don't make any money until you get a certain amount of subscribers and so many views. Uh, at least I came in before that was implemented, but when I first started, I didn't even make $100 a month on YouTube, and yet it's a full-time job. Until Brad from Big Family Homestead, we were talking on the phone one day, and he said, do you know that you can use Amazon to help earn income to help pay for the time that you put into your videos. And I'm like, really? I didn't know that. So he told me about the Amazon affiliate. So I started using that. And it worked out good because since we live so very remotely, though we have a really great store here in town, we have one grocery store that has pretty much everything. But still, because we were remote and we're a very small town, we still cannot find all the things we're looking for here in our town. So a lot of times, yes, we rely on Amazon because we're not the type to jump in the rig and drive 60 to 75 miles to the closest Home Depot, Walmart, or uh, Costco to get what we need. So Amazon is one of the things that most people in our area actually kind of depend on. And so that doesn't make us wicked. It doesn't make us evil. So if you're going to start throwing out accusations like that, you better start looking at every product that you buy in every company that you buy from. Unless you're buying from someone that's local and has the same exact religious values as you do, you're probably supporting some sort of wickedness. So do you have an iPhone? Do you have a Windows computer? Do you buy Starbucks, PepsiCo, Coca-Cola brands? Do you buy Nestle brands? Do you still shop at Walmart or Target? Everybody in some way is supporting, quote unquote, some kind of wickedness. Now, me personally, I've boycotted many companies and I try hard to, I don't always think to look, but I do try to find products that are made here in the US rather than overseas by slave labor. That's important to me, but I don't always remember to check that. And that irritates me when I do that. But that doesn't make me a wicked person. That doesn't mean I'm intentionally trying to support slave labor or whatever it is. For us here, we're just trying to we're just trying to do what we can to diversify our income to keep us going not only here on YouTube, but so that we can keep putting up for hard times and keep getting ourselves in a better, more self-sufficient position in order to take care of ourselves and our family as God calls us to do. And Amazon is one of the many ways, but it's not the only way. So if you're one of those that has chosen to totally boycott Amazon, that's totally fine. I get it. Just like I don't buy Nestle products. I don't buy Starbucks products. I avoid Walmart as much as I can. And I, for years, didn't shop at Walmart at all until God took me through some serious humbling and I found myself having to buy some things at Walmart on occasion. And after looking down at people that still shop there, I don't do that anymore because I think the more that we judge people on things that we don't fully understand, God's going to humble us and we're going to find ourselves very likely in a very similar situation. Now, again, if you really hate Amazon, you don't want to buy through our links to help support us that way. I get it. I totally get it. No judgment on my part towards you, but if you like to see us going on YouTube and you want to show your appreciation, there's several other things you can do that either don't cost you any more money or don't cost you any money at all. So let's start with what doesn't cost you any money at all. You can simply watch and share our videos with people that you think could really learn from that. So if you still have Facebook, share your video, share our videos on Facebook, share them on MeWe, share them on whatever social platform you are on. And that does a lot to help our channel grow, to give our, to get our videos more views. So that helps 
us earn more income from YouTube itself. Oh, and that's another thing, by the way, don't forget that YouTube is also owned by, by Google. And we all know that Google is not, does not have clean hands either. So you could say we're working for Google. Does that make us wicked? I know a lot of really good moral people that work for various government entities. Does that make them wicked? Should I ask them to quit their job? that they need to support their family and help put themselves in a better position as well. Since the government is one of the most wicked entities there are out there, no, I wouldn't do that. Other ways that you can support us. We're not just affiliates with Amazon. We don't have a ton of other affiliates because we get emails all the time from companies all the time and almost every day I mark them as spam. Spam, 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 spam. The reason Greenstock caught my eye was because I could tell these were people that actually did watch our channel. And then as I read through their email and realized this was a real family owned company here in the US, I was pretty much sold from that moment on. And I did a little more looking into them and was very pleased with what I found. And so, yes, we are affiliate with Greenstock because of that. Mother Earth Products is another one. I actually went to hunt them out because I pulled away from Honeyville for several reasons. And one was because their constant increase in price and they just kept getting higher and higher and getting out of hand. Though they do sell quality stuff, I was looking for something different. I ran across Mother Earth products and started buying them and I liked the fact that I could get little Mylar bags. Found them through Amazon, by the way, but they are a family owned business here in the United States. So I contacted them directly and called them and, and talked to some real people. And that's why I hooked up with them because they're good people, they're honest. And even though I know they're having a heck of a time keeping, especially the organic products in stock, I've been very pleased with them, with their business practices and just working with them in general. So that's why I'm an affiliate with them. And then another place that I always forget that I'm not an official affiliate by name, but I can create affiliate links is Azure Standard. So whenever I put specific Azure Standard links to products that I buy through them, we get a $25 credit for every purchase made through that link. And I actually had forgotten about that. So when we did our last Azure Standard uh, order and it had been a while, I was really surprised to see I had, I almost had enough to pay for my order, which really, was helpful because we have to pay shipping because we don't have a drop point near us and the shipping on the heavy items can be quite expensive. So yeah, there's other ways that you can help support us that either don't cost you any more money. If you're gonna purchase the products anyway, if you purchase through that those links, that just helps keep us going here on YouTube and helps balance out our pay per hour. It's just pretty cheap wages, so it takes a lot of time, patience, and hard work to get to where you're actually earning a livable wage from YouTube alone. So having other sources of income, not only is wise in the in that whole idea of diversifying because YouTube could shut down my channel any day for whatever reason, we've seen it happen. I mean, I don't think I'm violating any rules, but maybe tomorrow I will be if they suddenly change everything. And my channel could be gone, just like some other channels have disappeared. And once that's gone, there goes that revenue stream. So any other ways I have to help me earn to help us earn some income to keep us going. That's also some other places we can fall back on, just like insurance. That's another form of insurance is having other streams of income. And of course, don't forget there's also our Etsy store. That's actually our number one source of income are the products that we make and sell. So Patrick makes all kinds of different wood products. He makes his vacuum chambers and colloidal silver generators. I make skin cream, lip balms. I'm not doing the soap right now. I don't know if I ever get back into it, but I also make skirts and aprons on custom order basis now because I can't keep up on them on the store but I do crochet things like skillet and panhandle covers, hair ties, all kinds of different stuff. You can check out our Etsy link. It's always the first link at the very top of the description box down below. All right, well, I hope this explained a few things and also answered a few questions in regards to our channel and why it's laid out the way it is. And don't forget to share our videos. Anything that you think be helpful to someone else, don't forget to share those and get those out there so that we can reach and teach others as Alaska Prepper is always saying. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.